At the end of the day, we always have to just be authentically ourselves. We have to be true, we have to be bold, we have to be courageous, we have to allow ourselves to see how we can prime ourselves and be motivated and have strength and wisdom and balance within our own connections, within our own life, within our own relationships, within our own experiences. So just understand that everything that you're doing is so that you can be the best person that you can be. Be authentically you. Don't be likable, don't be a people pleaser, don't always just do things because they are simple, but because they are easy, because they bring you better results or outcomes. Just understand that if you are generating a new state of presence, reality, and connection, just understand that everything will birth a new presence within yourself. So understand that you have to always have the phoenix rising out of the ashes and understanding that everything is in the past is in the rear view. So as you're looking forward, as you're persevering, as you're going through uh, the dark night of the soul or rehabilitation, breaking an addiction or going through financial troubles, going through challenges, maybe you're trying to start a music career, it doesn't matter what it is, but what matters is that you are going to just go through it meaning that you go through the doors of your own creation and your own inspiration and understanding that you're just raising awareness wherever you go and being a teacher and a mentor and a reflection wherever you go. So it doesn't always mean that you have to do it um, having like a big following in spirituality or meditation or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is being a leader in your life, being someone who is wise, being a teacher or reflection an example within your life. It doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, not have bad thoughts or not say cuss words. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the very fact that you're just you, unapologetically. Not having to apologize for the things that you do in your own life. Don't feel like you have to owe an explanation to anyone. Don't feel like you have to uh, say certain things in a certain way. You don't have to speak a certain way. You don't have to act a certain way. You don't have to dress a certain way. It doesn't make you more spiritual or less spiritual because you eat vegetables. If you want to eat vegetables and be spiritual, do that. If you want to be uh, spiritual and listen to the music that you like to listen to, um, listen to the music that you like to listen to that makes you feel connected. Um, and, and like also, let's stop with the cliches within spirituality as well. Let's stop being cliche and stop saying that it's just peace, love, and prosperity when we all know that that's not really the answer that we're looking for. We're looking for peace, freedom of mind, freedom of hatred, freedom of judgment of brothers and sisters. And pointing something out is not necessarily a judgment but it's just kind of being real about how we present ourselves and not wearing the Zorro mask, not wearing the falsehood, and just be real. You know, we don't have to wear sunglasses. You know, I can be myself. I can be very spiritual just wearing a t-shirt and a ball cap. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have to be shirtless. So just be you, and if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. You know, if you're watching the video and you click it off because of that, that's on you. But be real, be true. Nobody is more holier than thou, than the next person. And just because someone has leadership in a great way, that doesn't make them more than you. And also, just because you think that you're spiritual because you do these things, or warning people about this and that. How about you just live life? How about you just enjoy, come to peace? That's the most billionaire way to live, is just have peace. 